Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Storytime. <laughs> Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? We're gonna clap together. <laughs> Here we go. Let's clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. Great job everyone. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. Let's see, one knee and two knees. Are you ready to stomp? Ooh, you're gonna see what I have in my hand. Here we go, let's get ready to stomp. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Good morning, good morning. It is so nice to get to read and sing with you today. And today we're gonna to read some stories about the wind. The wind that's blowing. And I was trying to think of a good word to do for our bread and butter rhyme. And the word wind is so short that I thought maybe we would do something we put out in the wind, a pinwheel. Does anyone have a pinwheel at their house? This is one that my mom made for me, a giant pinwheel. But some of you might have it in your yard or maybe you've seen one in your yard. And sometimes there's even really big pinwheels that make energy that are called wind turbines or a windmill. So you see this spinning around. I thought maybe we would use the word pinwheel today for our word of the day. Should we try that out? So for bread and butter, we're gonna clap our hands and clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Can you do that along with me? Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say pinwheel as fast as we can. Pinwheel, 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 pinwheel. Ooh, I'm already having trouble. All right, ready? Pinwheel, pinwheel, pinwheel. Oh man, that's tough. Okay, let me focus. Pinwheel, 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 pinwheel. That's a tricky one. I hope you're having better luck at home. Let me try one more time. Pinwheel, 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 pinwheel. That's too hard. That's a good one though. All right, let's try another. Are you ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say pinwheel as slowly as we can. In wheel. Oh, that's a good one. So it starts off with that good P noise. P -p -p in wheel. Great job, everyone. Let's do another. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say pinwheel as loud as we can. Pinwheel. Good job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say pinwheel as quiet as we can. Pinwheel. Good job. All right, let's see what our first windy story is today. And this is called The Boy and the Wild Blue Girl. <laughs> and this is by Keith Negley. And if you can see, here's the boy. And what is he holding in his hand? It's a pinwheel. That's a pinwheel in his hand, blowing in the wind. And you know what? The blue girl he's talking about is the wind. So whenever he sees things blowing in the wind, he thinks of it as a wild blue girl who's wild and free and running around, whipping up the leaves and everything else she touches. So let's see what happens in The Boy and the Wild Blue Girl. There once was a boy named Poole who was curious about everything, but he was especially curious about the wild blue girl. She liked to swirl around the streets, making a big commotion. He liked her straight away. And you see everyone else, their hats are flying off. They're looking so surprised, but here's Poole. He's just so happy to be in the wind. <laughs> she often blew in from nowhere. And she didn't always know her own strength. Look, here are the flowers and, ooh, oh no, she blew them all over. 
everywhere she went, it seemed like she just wanted to, tr to help. She tried to help. <sighs> she blew the birthday candles out and everyone's hats right off their head. But everywhere she went, hmm, wee! She really didn't help. <laughs> oh no, look at the big old pile of leaves. It's all over the yard again. Everyone thought the wild blue girl was a nuisance. That means that she's kind of trouble. So everyone thought that she was a nuisance or trouble. Everyone except for Pool. So here she is, and here's Pool. And can you see what he's sending up? It's a paper airplane that he's sending off in the breeze. The others couldn't see it, but he knew that she was special. I agree, I think the wind is special. I like it a lot. We need to show them, he whispered. We need to show them that you are special. Poole loved to study the way things moved and he wanted to help. After a good bit of thinking, he had an idea about how. Setting right to work, he studied and measured, he tested and he built. And he worked and the town grew curious. Pool is making something new, they said, something different. Can you see he's building something really wide? Huh, I wonder what it is. Oh, but what could it be that he's building? Look how high up in the air he's getting. What is he making for the wind? Whoa, look how tall that is compared to the buildings. When he was finally done, he wondered if the town would now appreciate the wild blue girl for what she was and what she did best. Do you see what he built? Here this says, it's not a pinwheel, but it's like a very big looking pinwheel that blows in the wind and it's called a wind turbine. It blows in the wind and it makes energy for us. So it helps us turn on the lights and it helps us power our houses just by using the power of the wind. Oh, look at everyone looking up, taking in the wind. And look, they're not frowning anymore at the wind. They're smiling and they're all surprised and in awe. Do you think that they're coming around? Maybe they're starting to like that wild blue girl. And happily, they did. And look at all the wind turbines out catching the air, catching that wild wind. The end. Great listening, everyone. Now this story says in the back is a story that was inspired by a real Danish scientist and inventor named Poul Lacour, who built one of the first electrically generated wind turbines located in Askov, Denmark. So here's a little picture of what he might have looked like as a kid. And here is the real Poul. And he was the one who loved the wind so much he found a way for us to use the wind to power our houses and to make the world a better place. The end. I hope you liked that story. I picked this one because I've been on a search for wind turbine stories because my 20 month old son loves wind turbines because we have one right by our house. So this was very exciting to get to share it with you. Thank you so much. And I have some windy songs for us to read. I thought, or for us to sing. I thought maybe we would sing about the weather. So how about we sing one called, What's the Weather? And maybe you can help me with what weather it is outside. It goes like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Can you make your arms into a circle? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Can you put your fingers like it's raining? 
Is it rainy? Is it windy out today? Let's be windy just like the blue girl. Good job, let's try that again, ready? What's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Good job with the sun, is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy out today? What do you think? Out here it is really windy and it is a sunny day too. Sunny and windy, although it's supposed to rain later, so maybe over here at the library we might have all three. What's the weather like at your house? That's wonderful. All right, I have one more weathery song, and it goes like this. Sun is, sh oh, maybe we'll get out the sun again. Sun is shining, what should I do? Sun is shining, what should I do? Sun is shining, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? What do we do when it's sunny out? How about we put on some sunscreen? Put on sunscreen, that's what I'll do. Put on sunscreen, that's what I'll do. Put on sunscreen, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. Good job. How about when the wind is blowing? When the wind is blowing, we might put on our windbreakers. All right, here we go, ready? <laughs> wind is blowing, what should I do? Wind is blowing, what should I do? Wind is blowing, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? How about we take the windbreakers and we put our hoods up? Put our hoods up, that's what I'll do. Put my hood up, that's what I'll do. Put my hood up, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. How about when it's raining? Are you ready? Rain is falling, what should I do? Rain is falling, what should I do? Rain is falling, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? Let's put on some rain boots. Ready? Put on rain boots, that's what I'll do. Put on rain boots, that's what I'll do. Put on rain boots, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. Great job, everyone. That was so much fun. Let's see what our second and last windy story is today. And this is The Wind Blew. The Wind Blew by Pat Hutchins. The Wind Blew. And can you see some of the things the wind is blowing? Let's see. I don't know what that is. Maybe a piece of clothing? And what's this? A kite? And a shirt? And how about this one? A balloon and a hat and an umbrella. All right, let's see what trouble the wind gets into in The Wind Blue. The Wind Blue. It took the umbrella of Mr. White and quickly turned it inside out. Oh no. It snatched the balloon of little Priscilla and swept it up to join the umbrella. Oh no. And not content, it took a hat. And still not satisfied with that, it whipped a kite out of the air and kept it spinning round up there. Oh no, it already has one, two, three, four things. And you know what? In these illustrations, sometimes we can see what's coming next. What might go into the air next? Can you see what this is? It grabbed a shirt left out to dry and tossed it up toward the sky. Oh no. See what's coming next. It plucked a hanky from a nose. Oh, that's like a tissue, a cloth tissue. It plucked a hanky from a nose and up, 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 up it rose. It lifted the wig from the judge's head and it didn't drop it back. Instead, it whirled the postman's letters up as if it hadn't had enough. Oh no, look at all the things in the air. 
It blew so hard it quickly stole a striped flag fluttering on a pole. Oh no, look at all the things in the air. It pulled the new scarf from the twins, here are the twins, and tossed them with the other things. Can you see what might be next? Who's coming up? I think someone's about to get caught by the wind. It sent the newspapers fluttering round, then tired of the things it found. Hmm, tired of the things it found. It mixed them up. Here it goes, mixing all the items together. And then it threw them down. Look, umbrellas on the head. Oh, he has a scarf. There's the kite. And it blew out to sea. Bye-bye. There it goes. This is a lot like the wild blue girl, isn't it? The wind caused lots and lots of trouble, just like the people always thought. But now look, it's going out to see where it can help someone with their boat. So it can be helpful and it can also cause a lot of trouble. Do you ever have the wind take anything from you? Last weekend, the wind blew and it blew my baseball cap right off of my head. <laughs> the end. I hope you had a nice time today and I think it's time for us to get up and sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready? Here we go. Can you find your head? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Should we do it a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful day and head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend, and I can't wait to see you all next week. Bye-bye.